Church, welcome and welcome back this morning. Today we're talking about in the name of Jesus Christ. So we're going to go with scriptures and we're going to see how to utilize and apply the name of Jesus Christ, Acts 4, 1 through 22. Now, as they spoke to the people, the priest and the captain of the temple and the Sadducees came upon them being greatly disturbed that they taught the people and preached in Jesus the resurrection from the dead. And they laid hands on them and put them in custody until the next day, for it was already evening. However, many of those who heard the word believed, and the number of the men came to be about 5,000. 5,000 individuals gave their heart to God after hearing Peter preach the word of God. And Peter was filled with the Holy Spirit, so the Holy Spirit does the works. We're going to reference Acts three, one, two, ten. So let's see what transpired to cause these 5,000 men, women, and children to give their heart to God, right? Reference Acts three, one through 10. Now, Peter and John went up together to the temple at an hour of prayer in the ninth hour. And a certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried. So he was born crippled, lame whom they lay daily at the gate of the temple, which is called beautiful, to ask for alms from those who entered the temple, who seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, asked for alms. And fixing his eyes on him with John, Peter said, look at us. So he gave them his attention. He gave them his full attention, expecting to receive something from them. Then Peter said, silver and gold I do not have, but what I do have I give you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. Immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. So he, leaping up, stood and walked and entered the temple with them, walking, leaping, and praising God. Walking, leaping, and praising the Lord. Can you imagine that? And all the people saw him walking and praising God. Verse 10, Then they knew that it was he who sat begging alms at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened, what had just taken place. They seen it with their eyes. And they seen that this was the man that laid lame daily for alms. And people would bring him to collect the alms because remember he was lame. So here's my notes. This man was healed by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus, he was healed. And Peter reached out his hand. Here's the faith. Now, Peter says, you're healed by his stripes. Peter reaches out his hand and he grabs his hand and immediately he rises and immediately his bones and ankles are given strength. Amen, Lord. I pray for that this morning, Lord. I pray that you give people strength in that like that, that you heal them immediately, Lord, because there's many people who are cannot walk and stand and talk and get up and run and leap and jump, Lord. And we all should be do that, Lord. This man was born like that, Lord. So there's many people that are born like that. My Dominic was born like that, Lord. I pray that you just heal him from the top of his head to the bottom of his feet, that he gets up jumping, leaping, and running around, and we are astounded, Lord. I pray that this... Amen. Amen and amen. Amen. So verse 5, And it came to pass on the next day that the rulers, the elders, and the scribes, as well as Ananias, the high priest, Caiaphas, John, and Alexander, and as many as were of the family of the high priest were gathered together at Jerusalem. Where? At Jerusalem. And when they had set them in the midst, they asked, By what power or by what name have you done this? So all the Sadducees, Pharisees, high priests, Ananias, they're all there. They're all gathered together. And they know that this man was healed. They cannot deny that. But they want to know by what power or by what name have he done this. They know that there was 
the Lord that did that. They know that there was power that healed this man. Only God can heal. Only God can heal. I can't heal. You can't heal. Only God. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That's why they are one, which you do not believe. Oh, what a shame, man. What a shame that y'all don't believe in the Trinity. That is a shame because you don't know what you're missing. You don't. That is the gospel, bro. God, open their eyes and their ears to the heart to your son this morning, Father. Note, they knew that there was power in the name and they wanted to know by what authority did you heal this man? Who gave you the power and authority to use the name to heal this man? Jesus did. They walked with Jesus. They lived with Jesus. They, Jesus taught them. They were his disciples. They were his students. Verse 8. Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, rulers of the people of and elders of Israel, if we this day are judged for good deeds done to a helpless man, by what means he has been made well, let it be known to all of you and to all the people of Israel, to all the people of Israel, by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead, whom God raised from the dead, by him, this man stands here before you whole. This is the stone which was rejected by you builders which has become the chief cornerstone. That is the Lord Jesus Christ. The rock that you rejected, the foundation that you refuse to stand on is the cornerstone. And we need to stand on that cornerstone and build on that cornerstone. Amen, Lord. Whoever builds his house on a rock, a solid foundation, will be firm in the Lord. So verse 12. Now, is there salvation in any other? For there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. There is no other name but the name of Jesus Christ that we must be saved under heaven. Amen, Father. And that is the name when you call out, call upon the name of the Lord and thou shalt be saved. Here's my notes. Remember, Peter is filled with the Holy Spirit while ministering these very words. The Holy Spirit is speaking, using Peter as his vessel to minister the word of God, the gospel. The resurrection, the life, the death, and the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. There is no name under the heavens but the name of Jesus that can save. All who call on the name of the Lord for forgiveness, repentance, for the remissions of sins. And I mean all can be forgiven in him, through him, and for him because of the finished works of the cross. When he says, tell, tell us thy, it is finished. He completed to the fullness of the will of the Father, and that was to give his life for me and you. Amen, Father. And we thank you for that, Lord. And we honor you for that, Lord. And Jesus, how could you do that for me and my family, Lord? But I thank you for that. So verse 13. Now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were uneducated and untrained men, they marveled. And they realized that they had been with Jesus, the teacher. Everything that the disciples known was taught by Jesus firsthand. Amen. They walked with him. They lived with him. He taught them. So verse 14, and seeing the man who had been healed standing with them, and he gave them baptism with the Holy Spirit so they could do the will of the Father. They could say nothing against it. Here's my note. Seeing a lame man get up and walk after he was commanded to do so in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, will blow your mind literally. There's no denying it. You've seen it with your eyes, but you're still not going to believe it. You're, man, if God healed a lame man right in front of us today, half of us would believe. The other half would just say it was some kind of trick, some kind of trickery. That's what we would claim, and that's what we would believe. And that is sad. Even seeing will cause you not to believe. But there is some that see and believe because they know that there's only the Lord can do that. What does a man say when he heals me? Don't, only the God can heal. Only God sends a man that can heal, not any person. Verse 15, but when he had commanded them to go aside out of the council, they conferred among themselves saying, what shall we do to these men? For indeed, that a notable miracle has been made through them. 
is evident to all who dwell in Jerusalem. Everybody seen, everybody witnessed this man. Everybody knows this man by name. And now he's leaping, walking, jumping around and doesn't have to be carried to the temple and he was born lame. And now he's got strength in his ankles and he's running and leaping and jumping. No, I'm sorry. I, I have to see it to believe it. That is what was taking place and they were seeing it and they believed. Remember, 5,000 men came to believe. But so that it spreads no further among the people, let us severely threaten them that from now on, they speak to no man in this name. They are not allowed to minister this name of Jesus. They're not even allowed to say this name of Jesus. They're not allowed to use the power and authority that comes with this name, Jesus. Because the people are turning from the one God and choosing the one God who has a son by the name of Jesus Christ. And it is hurting our temple. And we can't have that. Because our temple is everything to us. Note. Note. The chief priests knew there was power in the very name of God, Jesus. And his disciples were authorized to release the power in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth by faith in prayer. Jesus does the works. So here's verse 18. So they called them and commanded them not to speak at all nor teach in the name of Jesus. Here's my notes. This should encourage you. There is power in the very name of Jesus. The sinners are saved, the oppressed are set free, the captive are delivered, the sick are healed, and the saved are baptized with the Holy Spirit and fire and power. By faith we receive baptism with the Holy Spirit. Amen, Lord. Fill us with the Holy Spirit so that we can do the very will of our Father unto completion. In Jesus' name and in the Father Elohim, and in the Holy Spirit, we give honor and praise to you this morning, Lord. And we thank you for who you are.